Okay, <clears throat> VPX 10.8 beta screen calibration table. So I've got VPX editor open here and I've got the screen calibration table loaded. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to F6, which is the interactive edit camera mode view. So I'm gonna click on that and it immediately opens up the screen, uh, the, the table calibration screen. So you got a vertical ruler and you've got a horizontal ruler here. And the first thing you want to do is you can notice here the table X and Y scale 76.3. So I'm going to hit my shift key and flipper down to, I get the table X and Y, Z scale both in green. And then I'm going to let go and I'm going to hit my right flipper, which is just your right shift key until you get that value to 100%. So I'm just going to expand it out until I get it to 100%. And right there, and I'll go back just slightly. Now it's on 100%. That's exactly where I want it. So now what I've got to do is I've got to make the origin the zero point of the vertical ruler and the zero point of the horizontal ruler match the exact uh, edge of my screen on the left side and the bottom side. So the first thing I'm going to do is the horizontal. So I'm going to hit my uh, magna key and flipper key, how I've got this set up to do, and I'm gonna to go to horizontal offset. And so this is horizontal offset. So it's currently on one, a little bit less than one, it's not at the zero, so I'm gonna move it out until I just see the background of my display. You can see that zero point, and I'm gonna move it the other way, just ever so slightly until I, boom, that's it. So that's the zero point of the horizontal. And now I can go ahead and take a measure of this value right here. And it's right on 50.1. Um, you can't really see that from my screen, but that's what the ruler reads to me. I can look right here, look straight down at it, and take a measure, and it's 50.1. Um, so now I've got to do the bottom one. That's the vertical measure. So to get that, let me just see if I can zoom in on this. I can't zoom in on my camera. There we go. Maybe it focus. Not sure it can focus, but you can see, maybe able to see it's at 14. So I'm going to take the vertical offset measure from from here, vertical offset, and I'm going to decrease it until this ruler gets at the zero point, just like I did the horizontal. And then I'll take a measure of that. All right, so that's just right there. So now I would go up to the top of my screen, up here, at the very top, the very top, and I'm look down at that, and I'm going to say, what is that measure? And whatever that is, that's what I'm going to enter into the screen setting. So let me quit this, and I'll show you what that looks like. So we come here to Window, Video Graphics Options, and then this is the values I'm going to enter and that I just took measures of here and here. All right. So those measures, screen width, screen height, and also screen inclination. To do that, I just set my, I set my iPhone on my side rails because my, my screen is basically flush mount. So I set my iPhone on the rail, or you can sit it on the glass, just like that. And whatever that angle is, that's reported, that's what you're gonna put in screen inclination. And that's your first step, and then your player X and Y, I set my X to zero, that's the dimension this way. Player Y is how far you stand back from the display. I put that at 15. You can do it anywhere from zero to 15, 20, whatever. Generally zero to 15 is probably gonna be a good measure there. And then player Z, that's your vertical height, uh, from, from the table basically to your eyes or whatever looks right to you uh, in terms of the depth of the table, especially if you're playing in 3D stereo, that makes a pretty dram dramatic impact one way or the other. <clears throat> so that's the screen calibration table and that's the key to VPX 10.8's POV view. So hope that helps you and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments.